what made y'all what made y'all pick this car right here like the year before that in 62 would you drive him for ray then i no, know you won daytona no. in 60 in that 59 chevrolet yeah uh no i wasn't driving for ray i was driving for holly farms okay uh for know, rex and them rex and them yeah and then chevrolet come in and made us a deal that uh we uh could uh run as a, as a factory car okay and they did smoke a unit the same way so uh we wanted to run with ray fox because he was one of the best engine builders it was in the sport and uh holly farms agreed to uh you know sponsor the car and chevrolet was giving us all the parts and going to back us all year but uh, about two weeks into the whole conglomerate thing, uh, Chevrolet pulled out before we even got to the racetrack. But you had the cars. We had the cars. Okay. But uh, in the motors, we, that's the two things that we really need to run. And the motors are really a exotic motor. It's a short stroke, big bore Chevrolet engine. And, General Motors has always been addictive to, uh, uh, you know, small boards and, and big strokes. Okay. You know. But this is opposite, and it uh, was about seven or eight hundred horsepower back in them days. Wow. Y'all built like three of these cars, I believe. You know. Yeah, we there did. Was, there was three of them. Everything that I, I've ever read about it, and I think you've told me years ago. When I worked for you, you know, there's uh, it's just three of them, but there there wasn't that many engines. Not many of those these engines to. We had seven engines apiece, and uh, Chevrolet had to give uh, Holman Moody one and Carl Kike for one, and uh, they was one what other. Because an NASCAR. Yeah. They, okay. If if you had them, you're going to run a motor. Somebody else wants one of them, you gotta give it to them or really? let them see it or something. Okay, yeah. But uh, they, uh, all three of them uh, got a motor from Chevrolet just like what's in this car, other than, you know, this year's been blueprinted and mm -hmm. the, they was just stock motors okay. uh, that they put together. And I bought all them three motors back to make sure I could run through the season because the things with uh, the valve train in them was uh, pretty uh, not really safe to say that you could run 500 miles. Not very durable. Yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, we kept blowing them up and busting pistons and stuff and if it lasted it won the race. Oh yeah. Now like this car right here from Chevrolet, you get this thing what they call body in white, like it, it didn't have anything in it, right? I mean, it was just a bare. No, it was a car. It was a real car? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it had headlights and everything in it when I got it. Really? And body-wise, outside, NASCAR wouldn't let you change it from what it was right now. Yeah. Did you race with the windows up all the time? Uh, besides most the, most of the time, the tracks. short tracks, I'd uh, take them out, but uh, this car, the last time it run, it had the windows in it. Did you race, like, did you have like a short track car and a super speedway, 63 Chevrolet, like did yeah. you and Ray have a, okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, just, like you, your your other car, if I didn't have the window stuff in it, right, your short No, this was a super speedway car. Yeah. See, they did, they'd let you take the windshield wipers out, but they wouldn't let you take the motors out of it. Oh, really? No. <laughs> the windshield wipers still work on it. <laughs> I be dang. I, and, you know, the basic, that is the strongest seat that, at the time, there was in any car. Now, what kind of, is that the seat out of the original car? That's the original car seat. Oh, is it? Okay. Really? That's the size steering wheel was on. Yeah. 
So you just took and taped that up, and you just mounted that seat, and that was what held you in. Yeah. Holy crap. You didn't have no uh, shoulder horns for a long time, but I'm the one that had the first shoulder harness in our field made me take them off. The, the Panhard bar, so is this, was this one of the first cars that you had that, like you were in Leaf Springs, you didn't have to have that. No, right. no. Uh, Leaf Springs because the way the house, and but you know when you. When you put coils uh, in them, you've got to have that to keep the back end from going back yeah. and forth on it. And it's very, it's very uh, successful if you've got it strong enough. Yeah. You don't want it to give one bit, although you get, you put a little weight into it when you fix it as strong as this one is, but uh, you know it's going to stay there. That's one thing. It's like I said. This was the first car that I've seen, like in the '60s, that had the Panhard bar, like we still race now. This whole, the truck arms and this whole deal, like you know, the shocks mounted. Just like I said, for 1963, this car was way ahead of its time. Just because yeah. uh, uh, I, I worked at the Petties and I, I saw their, you know, Richard them had '63 Plymouths and stuff, and you know, which they had leaf springs and torsion bars and um, the um, it, it is it is a pretty cool to see this stuff here like the I, I, I was wondering the first time I ever saw this how much spring that is it's got to be a lot looking at it you know these things just uh, that's probably 12 or 1400 I believe right it. rear it looks every bit of it yeah man. yeah well this thing here is uh, it's got the big hubs and yeah. Shoes and stuff on it. It's uh, probably about the same thing you run today. Oh, yeah. Now, what about this housing? Now, is this, did you just make this? Is this out of a Ford? Is this housing? It's a truck house. It is just a truck, like a three-quarter quarter, uh, three quarter ton? Right, truck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just, okay. So, man, you know what? It, if you go back and look at this car, though, that's a lot of work into this thing. A lot of that can work. That you just did it right there on the floor. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That like you never took the body off the chassis. You just laid it underneath of it and did it. Yeah. One, the chassis, and two, with how you drove and you know your no fear attitude stuff. It made the engines look good anyway. So it's like everything complemented its whole. You and Ray complimented each other, the chassis, the engine, the whole deal complimented. He said, man, if that stuff would stay together, Lord knows we'd have we re ever He said we'd have rewrote the roll book, uh, the record books. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. said it'd have been he said he said we'd have just totally put people in tears, just that. You know, it, it would have changed the whole racing world more than it already did, but you know, it's um uh, it's really Robin, they got a real uh jewel right here. So Thank mm -hmm. you.